Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make automatic water and juice dispensing machine with the help of Arduino and NextGen Touch Display. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, where you can order your 5 pieces of up to 8 layer PCBs just in $2. And now they can produce more complex PCBs up to 20 layers. One of the good addition in their services is flexible PCBs. So now you can order 5 pieces of flexible PCBs just in $15. Nowadays you can get free assembly services for PCBs up to 6 layers. To avail this limited time offer, click the link below and for more discount and coupons, simply log in to jlcpcb.com. Ok guys, so after a few days, I got our PCBs from jlcpcb. Here is the box, let me open it and then I will show you our new PCBs. As you can see the quality of PCB is really great as always. So now we will collect all the components that are required to complete this PCB. Here are all the components that are required to complete this control board PCB. So first of all here you can see some male and female header pins. This is Arduino Nano. 3 1 kilo ohm resistors. BC547 transistors, two terminal blocks, a 5mm red color LED, a DC power jack, one N4007 diodes, a 100 microfarad capacitor, and a 5 volt voltage regulator with this heat sink and screw, and here are two 12 volt relays. Now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Ok guys, so finally the component soldering is done, as you can see here. Let me tell you one important thing here. Always connect this Arduino to the PCB with the help of these female header pins. And while uploading the code, disconnect the Arduino from the control board else the code will create a problem and will not upload properly. Now we will collect all other materials that are required to complete our dispensing machine. So here are all the basic materials that are required to complete our dispensing machine. First of all you can see this is our control board PCB and here are two flow sensors. Let me show you the model number of flow sensor. It is YF-S401 and here are two 12 volt diaphragm water pumps. With these four rubber brackets and here is a piece of pipe for these pumps and the flow sensors. We will cut it according to our requirements. And uh, here is a 4.3 inches intelligent series next gen display. Here you can see the model number. Let me unbox it. And uh, here is connecting wire. Here I 3D printed a frame for this next gen display. And here are two 3D printed pipe holders.
here are some pieces of cardboard i will make the casing of our dispensing machine with the help of these pieces but obviously you can make the housing with the help of plastic wood or with the help of stainless steel sheets so now let me show you the dimensions of these pieces so first of all here you can see these two pieces the width of these pieces is 5 inches and uh, from this side it is about 8.5 inches and on this side it is around 11 inches and uh, now this piece a little less than 3 inches wide and 8 inches long and uh, this piece is almost 6 inches wide and uh, 8.5 inches long and this piece is 9 inches long and a bent at 3 inches from this side and the width of this piece is 8 inches so this piece will be connected like this Here I made these two holes for these pipe holders. So now let me connect these pipe holders here. And now this piece will be connected here. Okay guys, so our dispenser housing is now complete. I covered all the edges with the help of this paper tape and now I will cover this housing with the help of spray paint. Ok guys so paint job is now complete and uh, now we will fix all other components at the back side of this housing. This is the output pipe of the water pump. So the flow sensor will be connected here. And uh, this arrowhead should be at the top side. Let me show you. So it should connect here like this. Like this. I have connected this water pump here on this piece of cardboard with the help of these four nut bolts. So now it will be very easy to connect this assembly here with the help of some hot glue. And now this stand will be connected here and uh, it will hold our touch screen. Now we will connect output pipes here.
and now our touch display will be connected here Okay guys, so the physical structure of our machine is now complete. Now it's time to make all the wiring connections. So guys, finally all the wiring connections are now complete. So this is the first water pump and this is the second water pump. First water pump wires are connected here and this is first sensor and the first sensor wires are connected here and similarly the second water pump wires are connected here and the second sensor wires are connected here this thing is also written on PCB let me show you here as you can see this is pump 1 and pump 2 and similarly this is flow sensor 1 and flow sensor 2 here I connected next gen display wires and this is 12 volt input power connector now we will connect two long pipes at the input of both pumps so this is the first water pump and uh, this pump and this first sensor will be used for water and this pipe will go inside the water container and the second pump and the second sensor will be used for the juice and uh, this pipe will go inside the juice container ok guys so our dispensing machine is now complete and uh, now it's time to burn the arduino code and upload the tft file to the touch display so to burn the arduino code you should remove the arduino from this control board So guys here is the Arduino code for our project. The code is very simple and easy. I used two separate flow sensors in this project. So the one sensor is used for water and the other one is for juice. You can calibrate each mode of each sensor separately. So for example this is for calibration of 100 ml water. So if your machine is not dispensing properly you can change this value accordingly and you can do this for all modes this code is almost consist of 350 lines so you can get more details about the code in video description after burning the arduino code now we will upload tft file to nextgen display here i designed a touch interface for our machine using nextgen editor and uh, then I generated a TFT file for our next gen display and uh, uploaded it to a micro SD card. Now insert the card in next gen display and uh, power on the machine. And now power off the machine and remove the micro SD card. Okay guys, so here is the final setup for our machine. Now let me power it on and then I will show you the working of our machine. Okay guys, so this is the welcome screen. So when you press the continue, these two menus will appear. This one is for water and this is for juice. So if you select water, these three options will appear so you can choose any one according to your requirements similarly in the juice menu here also these three options are available so you can choose any one according to your requirement So after selecting the amount, you can press the start button to dispense the liquid. So
So when the filling is complete, you can press OK button to return the initial screen. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. All necessary information about this dispensing machine you can find in the video description. I hope you will like my this project. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.